the low dependencies that you need to install uh, in a, on, on your local machine to do this. So now what's happening is... And just, just to be clear here, that just for people who understand, like people who have never heard of code spaces, it's like a pre-built virtualized development environment that's already set up dependencies, NPM packages, anything that's, so Gerd, you, like the de designer of the repo, right, the Microsoft, can say these are all the dependencies and pa packages and libraries that you need in order to develop on top of this. This is amazing. And, and this should really help you, again, get started quickly to not have a whole bunch of hiccups getting going initially. This is something that we are exploring and looking at our team to implement as well, to speed up our developers, to be able to go directly from repos right into a pre-built environment that's ready to be developed on, which is awesome. I mean, what we can do, we can go into this as well, but you see this dev container kind of folder mm -hmm. in here. Ah. In the dev container folder, it describes how the dev container should look like. So yeah. Dev container, we are saying like, oh, we need Azure CLI, oh. shell, we need common utilities, and we need some kind of GitHub copilot just you know, uh, based in our case on Mono, uh, you can, uh, and what GitHub is doing is just using this configuration and creating an online Docker container for you that you are now basically connecting to. So no dependencies that you need to install uh, in a, on, on your local machine to do this. Mm -hmm.